Hey guys, sorry about the shaky video. Um, I am doing a quick um, video about the Q6 Plus ISDT smart charger. It's a pocket charger by ISDT. I'm going to do a firmware upgrade, so I thought I would uh, do this, make a video real quick of how I did this, just in case anybody um, needs to do this. Um, what you'll need is a battery to power um, the Q6 Plus. You'll need the um, a C linker cable. Let's see if I can. Yeah, the C linker cable. Um, and a computer running. Uh, this just happens to be Windows 10 with the uh, firmware that was downloaded um, from the ISDT website. So we're going to go here. I'm going to try to get close so you guys can see. So we're going from. Um, OS 21028 to uh, 21033. So I'm going to go ahead and um, update the firmware. Uh, again, sorry about the shaky video. Go back. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take, I'm going to take this, I got into focus here. Sorry, I'm using my cell phone here. But um, the plug for the computer is going to go in here, and then I'm going to plug that into the USB. So let me do that real quick, and uh, we'll uh, start the video back up. It's hard to do one-handed. I got this uh, plugged into my computer. got it plugged into the uh, Q6 Plus Smart Charger. I'm going to go over to the computer. This is the file that I downloaded from the website. So um, I'm going to click on the SCU. Down at the bottom, you're going to see um, it's going to show you once you install the driver, um, it's going to show you what the uh, app version, or the, I guess, OS version, really, that um, that you have on, currently on the charger. So it's 21028. You saw that when I looked up the um, uh, looked it up in the settings. Um, here is the firmware that it's going to load, the version 21033. Um, so this is the quick little update tool. I'm going to click on the update. So, and you'll see it's going to go through here. I'm going to let it go real time because it seems like it's going pretty quick. So, again, this is just going to be a quick video show you guys how to do this. Um, yeah. So, we'll let this thing go. Going pretty quick, actually, 50%. Um, it's rebooting, it rebooted, and there you can see at the top, <laughs> update succeed. Um, so yeah, so uh, the update succeeded. Um, so we'll go in here, let me see if I can get this. Okay, go down. And there you can see it took the 21033 um, firmware, so. So yeah, again guys, that was a quick video on um, how to update the, let's go back over here, how to update the ISDT uh, Q6 Plus um, smart charger. Use this for LiPos, uh, for my drones. Um, it's a nice portable charger, really nice portable charger actually. It's only about 60 bucks. Um, if you guys are into drones and stuff like that, definitely something to pick up. You can run it off, um, you know, like a, uh, 1600 or 16,000 milliamp battery, something like that, and charge plenty of batteries while you're out in the field um, for little uh, quadcopters or um, 250 size, 200 size, whatever you fly. Um, you can actually power it from pretty much anything. Um, the input voltage here, I think it's 9 to um, 9 to 30 volts, if I'm not mistaken. I read the value, don't, read the manual, don't take my word for it, but um, I usually power it with uh, with a battery. And, uh, yeah, so, really good charger. Just want to do a quick video, show you guys how to update the firmware on this thing. Um, if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, see you guys in the next one.